yesterday afternoon, my family car was stolen from me at gunpoint in broad daylight in a busy public park. Obviously, it was a scary thing to have happen. Congresswoman Mary Gay Scanlon speaking for the first time since she was carjacked at gunpoint. Federal authorities say 19-year-old Josiah Brown of Wilmington approached the congresswoman Wednesday at FDR Park in South Philly. He allegedly pointed a gun at her while demanding her belongings and car. The fact that this happened in FDR Park, a place where so many find refuge from the hustle and bustle of urban life, is particularly upsetting. Brown is charged in federal court with carjacking and using a gun in a violent crime. According to the criminal complaint, Brown told authorities that he was with two other people driving around Philadelphia and decided to steal a car. Brown says that when they entered FDR Park, they spotted Scanlon by her car and made her their target. The teen and another person drove the congresswoman's vehicle to Delaware. If you pick up a gun and use it to commit a crime, together we will come after you. But Scanlon's incident didn't deter people from enjoying the sunny winter day at FDR Park today. Chase Tomlin lives in the area and has been working out at FDR Park since he was in high school. That's the first time I really heard anything happen around here. It's normally safe and quiet. Juanita Sion Leary was also enjoying a midday walk around the park. I don't feel fear or anything about it because we come here all the time. And nothing's I, ever happened Nothing's here. ever, no, uh-uh. Still, Philly PD officials are asking the public to be aware of their surroundings. Carjackings have nearly tripled since 2019 going from 216 to nearly 800 so far this year. But carjacking arrests don't usually happen as quick as Scanlon's case. Many of these cases are very hard to solve. Uh, the individuals committing these crimes cover up. Federal agents were able to track Scanlon's vehicle because of certain equipment the vehicle had. The tracker led authorities to Christiana Fashion Center, where they apprehended Brown and four other juveniles. Those teens were charged with receiving stolen property. The investigation continues into Brown's carjacking accomplices. Claudia Vargas, NBC 10 News.